Hello, all my crafty divas. So, I wanted to make this little video because I finally got my order from Hobby Lobby that I ordered a week ago. So it finally came. It's a big order. Um, I put in enough. I think. I think when you spend fifty, you get free shipping. So I, I ordered enough to get the free shipping. So I wanted to real quick. I have. So now I have canvas from Hobby Lobby, and theirs is three dollars for a six pack. And then I have here. This is canvas from Walmart, and it's just a little. I think it's like two sixty four, at least at mine, for six packs. So it's very close to Hobby Lobby. It's just a little bit, little bit cheaper. And then this is the canvas that I got from Amazon, and it was like twenty dollars for twenty sheets. So it was roughly a dollar a sheet. So there is a difference. I wanted to show you. Now this is a totally different listing than I ordered on Amazon. I went. I spent some time, went through a lot of listings, read a lot of the reviews because a lot of the reviews somebody would say in there how. Huh? The canvas was hard to cut, so I was trying very hard because before I ordered from Amazon, the canvas was hard to cut. It's very hard, stiff. It's great for certain projects when you need stiff, but I can't be cutting everything out of stiff. People don't want something stiff. Anyways, so normally, I normally use Walmart's brand. And let me get a shot in here for you. I like Walmart's. Um, sometimes it's a little, it's a nice, pliable, easy to cut. And Hobby Lobby's is pretty much the same. I think right. theirs is just a little bit softer than Walmart's. Very pliable. Very easy to cut. Sometimes with it being so easy, sometimes if you're not careful, the scissors can slide right through more holes. And forgive my nails. I'm a constant gardener, so I'm either cutting or in the dirt. <laughs> so anyways, so Hobby Lobby's is the softest, I believe. Walmart's is just a tad stiffer than Hobby Lobby's, but the cheapest price, Hobby Lobby being the second cheapest price. And then Amazon. Amazon's is stiffer. This one is stiffer. And... The holes are smaller, so I'm going to see if I can do this. Let me get rid of this little uh, placemat. There's my little, my little Valentine love <laughs> napkin holder. Okay, so this is Amazon, and I'm going to take Walmart's here, and I want you to see the difference. This is the difference in the size of the holes. Look at. Look at that. So I do order from different places. So sometimes the canvas I use for orders or a little, little bit softer than others, but I will not use stiff and I, I don't want to use this on orders because Somebody may order something from me, and I cut it from my normal, and they may want to make more. And if I cut it from this one, then their shapes are not going to be the same. So this was a $20 waste for me, but not completely. What I'll do is I'll use this for cutting my own shapes out for when I ever get to stitch again. <laughs> but I wanted to share that so people can... Just kind of be aware of plastic canvas from Amazon. Now, maybe they have some better stuff and I just haven't found it yet. But this is the second time I've ordered from Amazon. And the second time I was not happy with it. So, Walmart is my number one, unfortunately. Half the time they're in stock. And Hobby Lobby is my number two. And they seem to always be in stock, but... Shipping-wise, it can take a week. 
So either pre-order or way ahead of time if you want to order from Hobby Lobby or just go to the store. I don't have a Hobby Lobby in my town, so I can't always get to Hobby Lobby. But there you have it. I thought I'd give you a quick little breakdown. It's the first time I've had three different store canvases at once. And um, anyone that has an order in with me, I promise you I have not forgotten about you. I am working my little fingers off getting everybody's orders. And uh, it'll get in the mail soon, I promise. All right, little crafty divas, happy stitching. See ya.